of a new new sort of project -y thing to go along with it. Um, the other day I kind of did a palette bingo with it which I filmed but I didn't end up editing or putting it up because it sparked this idea for me. Now my crown palette has 60 eyeshadows in it. Um, three of them I've already hit pan on and two of them I pretty much use every time I do my eyeshadow at the moment. Um, to set my primer. So I thought that leaves me 55 of them. Um, and whilst I don't actually have like a full year left technically, I figured I could divide that up by fives and maybe do most of the palette, if not a bit more than that. Uh, so I'm actually doing a palette bingo for each month and that will give me five shadows from the crown palette to actually focus on. When I hit pan on a shadow, I will draw a new number out and move on to a different shadow. So uh, potentially I could use a lot more than five in a month depending on how much I wear makeup and which colours I draw, how pigmented they are, how much I have to use to actually get anywhere with them. So um, the eye look I'm wearing today is with the shadows that I picked for March. So I have written it down in my, my notebook, which um, I've had a lot of people comment to me how much they like my uh, Doctor Who notebooks. I actually have three of them, two of them are currently in usage, and they have all of my YouTube type stuff in them. That's where I put down my notes and drop my ideas and um, put down my... Um, like markings for different things and yeah that's that's what my books are used for. <laughs> I love these. So my crown palette um, I hit pan in another shadow um, last month. I didn't actually wear eyeshadow very much last month um, but I did manage to hit pan in one which is this one over here in the corner. You can see the pan. I had already hit pan in this purple <coughs> and the pink there. So those are the three I hit pan on. These two shadows up here I use with a big kind of fluffy brush that's pretty much exactly the same size as pan. That's what I used to set my primer. Um, so I have not included those in the bingo portion of uh, this. So they were numbers 1, 2, 8, 13 and 56 were excluded from this particular challenge. So the numbers that I drew, I use an app on my phone which is a random number generator which gives me the ability to exclude certain numbers as well which is what I did, I excluded those five numbers. Drew five numbers out. The numbers I picked were number 17, which is this grey, it's sort of, sort of silvery, kind of silvery. Uh, one of the girls who's in some of these projects, uh, she was saying how much she doesn't like silver and I actually really like silver. Uh, probably because I'm quite cool toned, I can get away with it. Um, number 18, which is the one right next to it, which is a completely different colour. Um, it's kind of a, almost a coppery kind of colour. This is one of those ones that doesn't have a lot of pigment, as you can see. Um, yeah. Uh, number 33, which is this very pale green. It's actually what I have on my lids today. Super, whoops, super pretty. Excuse the other swatches on the back of my hand. So right there. Uh, number 50, which is this dark brown here, which if you use a light hand, um, actually works as a transition shade. Doesn't look like it should, but 
we need one that you can shear it right out and it works as a transition shade. So I just make sure I tap my brush off really well. And the last number I picked is number 60, which is this dark purple on the end here. Um, my fingers are too big for these holes. No, that is awkward place. So that's that one there. So I have the green on my eyelids. I have the silver in the inner corner. And I have the purple and brown blended through my crease um, with a little bit of the coppery kind of colour, like warming it up. And then I have uh, purple and the silver kind of underneath my eyes. So that is what I am going to be focusing on, is those five shades for uh, March. Of course, I have other shades in other projects, which I will attempt to draw in now that I've used up my... And now that I've hit pan in what was my transition shade, I may well pull in one of my other transition shades. It's one of my other projects. I've got like two that I could pull in. Um, yeah. But I'm just going to work on those. And as soon as I hit pan, I'll just draw another number and bring another one in. I'm not going to update when I do that. Um, but I will when I do my update at the start of April. I will let you know if any new shadows got pulled into the project. So that is my update for my Pan That Palette for 2018. If you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up if you like Pan That Palette type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. I'll see you in my next video. See ya!